Ever found yourself staring at your bank account, praying for a little extra to tide you over? You're not alone. We've all been there. Maybe it's that unexpected car repair, a surprise medical bill, or just a month where the bills seem to multiply faster than rabbits. And when traditional loans feel like a distant dream, you start exploring other options. That's where Coho might come in. But hold on, before we dive into the nitty-gritty of how to borrow money from Coho, let's talk about a few things. First, borrowing money isn't a game. It's a financial decision that should be taken seriously. Second, while Coho offers some interesting options, it's essential to understand what you're getting into. And third, there might be better alternatives out there depending on your situation. So, what exactly is Coho? It's a financial app that offers a range of services, from spending tracking to cashback rewards. But we're focused on one specific feature today, borrowing money. Coho offers a few different ways to do this, and we're going to break them down for you. Let's start with the most straightforward option, the Coho Cover. Essentially, it's a small cash advance, available to users who meet certain criteria. Think of it as a lifeline when you're caught short. We'll talk about eligibility, fees, and the repayment process in a bit. Next up is Coho's credit building feature. Now, this isn't a traditional loan, but it can help you improve your credit score over time. It's a bit of a roundabout way to borrow money, but if you're looking to build credit while accessing funds, it's worth considering. We'll explain how it works and if it's right for you. But before we get too deep into the weeds, let's address the elephant in the room, interest rates. How much will it cost you to borrow money from Coho? We'll break down the fees and interest charges associated with each option so you can make an informed decision. And of course, we can't ignore the alternatives. There are other ways to borrow money, like personal loans, credit cards, and even asking friends or family. We'll weigh up the pros and cons of each option, helping you decide which one is best for your situation. Remember, borrowing money should be a last resort. It's important to build a solid financial foundation before relying on credit. We'll offer some tips on budgeting, saving, and creating a financial plan to help you avoid debt traps. So, there you have it. A deep dive into borrowing money from Coho. We've covered the different options, the costs involved, and some alternatives to consider. But remember, this is just information. The decision of whether or not to borrow money is entirely up to you. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.